Hey folks, welcome to another episode of Hayden Be Grilling. Now tonight we're gonna stay here in the kitchen. We're gonna make some unstuffed peppers. So let's get started. All right folks, now this is a recipe that I come across a little while back uh, by a guy uh, cooking in the Midwest. He's got a lot of really good looking uh, recipes, videos. So I'd encourage y'all to check them out, but I wanted to try this A because it looked good and then B because I feel like this is something that y'all would enjoy as well. First thing we're gonna do is our prep work. We're gonna dice up one or three bell peppers. It doesn't matter what colors you use. Uh, I just wanna be kind of festive, but dice up your bell peppers. All right, now that we've got our bell peppers diced up, I've got one small onion. I'm gonna dice it up and add that to the bowl with the bell peppers. Now that we've got our onion and our bell peppers diced up, we're gonna start mixing our seasonings. All right, first thing we're gonna put in our bowl is a quarter teaspoon of black pepper a quarter teaspoon of salt, a quarter teaspoon of paprika, followed by one and a half teaspoons of your favorite steak seasoning. Now, what I'm using for this is good old holy garlic made by fire and smoke. Very good all around steak seasoning. All right, folks, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna brown or start to brown one pound of ground beef. Now, we buy them in those five pound chubs. We cut them down into individual pounds, uh, but I'd let this sit in the freezer too long and so my wife had taken it out earlier. You can still brown it while it's frozen. It just takes a little more time, right? So I don't want to completely brown this just yet, but I do want to soften it up to where I can break it down so that way we can add the next ingredients. All right, folks, so in the perfect world, my ground beef would have already been thawed out, right? And so it would start to brown all evenly because now, remember that seasoning we mixed in together in the bowl? We're gonna come back and sprinkle that in on top. And I really needed my ground beef broken up, but I didn't want my ground beef to all get cooked before adding the seasoning, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and add that in. But just kind of work that around. I'm gonna continue working this beef around to where I can get it all good and brown. But we're also gonna add, we're gonna add the onions and the bell peppers. Now again, the onions and the bell peppers and the seasoning should have all been added into the skillet when we added the ground beef in. All right, so with these bell peppers and these onions in here, we're gonna continue browning our ground beef, like I said, but we're also gonna cook this until our peppers and our onions start to break down and soften up. All right, so now that we've drained our grease, browned our ground beef rather, drained our grease, we're gonna add one and a half cups of beef broth, one cup, of long grain white rice, not cooked, two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce, followed by one 15 ounce can of diced tomatoes. Now I did not drain this, but once we got all that added in, just kind of stir this all around in together, get it nice and mixed in together. Now that we have this mixed in together, we're gonna let this come to a boil. All right, so now we got this coming to a little low boil, we're gonna reduce our heat down to a medium low and we're gonna cover it. We're gonna let this cook for about 20 minutes or until our rice is cooked through. Now, the recipe I found is an option to mix in about a cup of cheddar cheese, shredded cheddar cheese, as it's cooking. I'm gonna wait. I'm not gonna put my cheese in just yet. All right, folks, so it has been 20 minutes and the rice is perfect. So now we're gonna sprinkle some cheese in here, some shredded cheddar cheese. And I'm leaving my burner, I actually bumped it down to a, a low heat, more like a simmer. But we added that cheese on here. And so what we're gonna do now is just sit and wait until this cheese gets nice and melted in. Alrighty folks, our cheese is beautifully melted. I'm gonna do a little fly by, fly over here, take a look at it. I had not removed it from the heat. What we're gonna do, I did wanna angle it this way just cause I want you to see this. You see the stringiness from the cheese? I'm gonna try it again. I know it's a little ways away. Actually, we're gonna. Ooh. Very, very cheesy, good melted cheese. Now folks, that's it. I mean, very simple, very easy meal. Heck, it took longer to dice up the bell peppers than it took for this to cook. So we're gonna, let this cool for just a minute. Then we're gonna give it that all important taste test. All right, folks, here we go with that all important taste test. Mm. 
<laughs> Sorry, I gotta I gotta take another bite. This is really good. Folks, this is incredible. Uh, it's so good I had to take two bites for the taste test. Very good. And like I said just a second ago, it took longer to prep this than it did for it to cook. It would have went faster if I had, you know, taken the ground beef out to thaw like I should have. But very good, quick, easy meal, folks. And in the video that I watched, the recipe that I watched, they topped this with some sour cream and taco sauce. So many options for what you can put on top of this. Very tasty, good and cheesy. Uh, the ground beef, the rice, all the peppers, the onion. I mean, folks, this is a great, great meal for the weeknight, especially those quick, busy, or those busy nights where you need that quick meal. This is it right here. So y'all please, let me know what you think of the video. Y'all please check out Cooking in the Midwest. Very good recipes. A lot of one pot meals like this uh, really helps out on cleanup. So y'all please let me know what you think of the video. Y'all please like, subscribe, and we'll see y'all later.